this is Nick for Breaker Press Games. Uh, today I'm going to do something uh, different than the uh, reviews that I've been doing. Uh, Breaker Press Games is uh, my, uh, my company that I use to make a game called Broken Contract as well as I'm working on some DCC projects and some other things that uh, I'm excited about. But uh, Broken Contract is where I uh, started and uh, um, it is a miniature skirmish game that is very heavy on terrain. And uh, it takes place in a uh, in a uh, room and pillar iron mine. Uh, so I want to show people how to build that. So when I first set up the box set for for uh, Broken Contract, the box set comes with a number of these tiles in order to create a board to play Broken Contract on. But personally, that's not how I play Broken Contract. I've used, used them when, uh, when the need arose, but when I was actually playtesting Broken Contract, I had made a bunch of these, which obviously are much nicer to play on. Um, but these were prototypes, and uh, I ended up going with 8x8 eight eight tiles rather than... Uh, than this size right here. But uh, when playing uh, when playing the game using these tiles, all the all the uh, scenarios utilize these tiles. Uh, I wanted to create something that was modular and that was usable uh, in order to uh, if somebody wanted to just build some terrain and add it onto their tiles. In fact, I meet these. Uh, rectangular and uh, square pieces so that if I wanted to just drop that there and add a piece over here and so on and so forth. Oh my goodness. And so on and so forth so that I could create an entire board's worth of terrain. I want to be able to show all of you how to do that but I'm going to actually do it in the process of making my next uh, demo board that I want to use at Adepticon this year. So we're going to do things in a series of steps in order to give you a sense of how to uh, make these blocks and how to make this terrain and make something super cool for you to play Broken Contract on or whatever game that you like that uh, you like the idea of uh, doing battle in a mine. So. I'm going to hit pause so that we can uh, jump back in with the planning stage. All right, so how do you plan out a board? Well, with Broken Contract, the way that I designed the tiles uh, makes it pretty easy to set things up. So first thing that I'm going to show you is that um, on this tile, uh, each of these sections is two inches by two inches. The tunnels are four inches, two inches by two inches, four inches, two inches by two inches, four inches, etc. So it's an eight by eight tile um, with uh, eight inches uh, or four inches, I should say, of of, um, of rock face, and then four inches of tunnel. So. In order to uh, plan that out on some graph paper, I have my wonderful day planner. Uh, this is actually the Passion Planner. Uh, highly recommended as a day planner because not only does it have all the stuff for planning your day, but it also has uh, areas of blanks, uh, blank paper, um, graph paper, etc., so that you can. Uh, um, take all sorts of notes uh, and keep track of your gaming stuff too. It's cool. So with the board that I'm going to make for Adepticon, I'm actually going to have three by three of these tiles. So 24 inches by 24 inches. So plotting that out, I'm actually going to use 12 squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. By 12, I'm 
And that is going to make three tiles by three tiles. Now, hopefully I counted that out right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And so there's my 24 by 24 square. Um, each of the uh, squares uh, is two inches by two inches. So the size of one of these. And so now I'm gonna lay out my room and pillar mine. I'm gonna go in, put in my square, four inch opening. And pretty soon, I will have my full setup. Now, you can obviously mess with these ideas when you're designing your own thing. Um, this is really just how I like to lay things out. Um, but you can do whatever you want. Um, oh no, I've gone amok, but that's okay. That's, that's why we plan. Measure first, or measure twice, cut once. That's what I was gonna say. Um, so, Now, I've got my plan all laid out. So, right there, if you were to look at what uh, three of these across and three down would look like, and I'll put in... Uh, in some dotted lines here that is one tile so right there I have my my base setup now obviously I want to add some detail to make this an interesting looking table so what I have done and I'm just gonna to save time flip to this page right here um, I've actually um, drawn in some barricades um, here and here, here and here, um, and it's barricaded in. And the reason being is because I'm actually doing this as uh, hab dorms. And how I envision the mines, the Ferrum Sky mines that uh, that Broken Contract uh, takes place in, is that uh, um, after they mine out a section in order to get the iron ore out. Uh, they then use the available space in order to move the uh, the barrack space of the uh, of the uh, workers. So this is actual um, open uh, open tunnels that uh, would be used for the workers to move equipment and uh, uh, for the workers to be able to get to their uh, work assignments. These areas right here would actually be their, uh, their kind of like the courtyard where uh, they spend their very limited downtime. Uh, it's a dystopian future where, uh, where uh, each of the uh, workers is, is an indentured worker and uh, um, they are kept separated from the other work crews and uh, have very limited downtime. And then these are the actual barracks um, where, the, uh, where the workers uh, sleep. Uh, additionally, uh, in this area would be some sort of uh, um, storage container type office area to act as a barracks slash staging point for the uh, Black Squadron security that uh, keep them in play, keep the uh, keep the uh, um, workers in place. Um, and then I left little gaps here, and the little gaps are actually for uh, I envision the. Uh, um, in Broken Contract, uh, you can have kids and dogs and teens, and I envision there being gaps 
that uh, have been made in the uh, in the barricade walls, uh, secret secret uh, um, cubbies that a uh, um, a child or a dog could be able to uh, shimmy through, uh, in order to create some additional movement opportunities for the uh, uh, the breakers. So, this is uh, how I have decided to lay out uh, my next demo board for Adepticon. So, yeah. Uh, the next step is going to be to lay it out on this particular board right here. So I'm going to hit pause again and get this set up in order to uh, um, attempt to record that. So where do things go from here? Well, I wanted to put some models on the table to give a sense of uh, what the finished product is going to look like and what we're going to go over next. So I actually drew uh, the areas of the barracks where, uh, where the people will sleep. Uh, as you can see, I wrote aka human parking lot. Uh, the barracks, uh, how I envisioned them, and I actually pulled this from sweatshot documentaries, is uh, that uh, um, there's just masking tape on the ground in the section where each person stays. Um, and so an entire work crew will live in this area. Um, and they'll just have their, their clothes and anything that they own just piled up in, in, their, uh, in their little masking taped area of space. I know it sounds horrible, but it's a real thing. Um, and so... Uh, I just put this to uh, uh, mark where a uh, um, a Black Squadron security like little uh, post would go um, in each of the courtyards. Uh, so uh, I envision that there would be one of these in each. Uh, but what is going to be the next video? The next video is actually going to be uh, how to carve these sections. And we're going to be using... Pink foam. Uh, I actually bought this at uh, Home Depot in uh, two foot by two foot sheets. Uh, nice convenient size uh, for being able to uh, um, make a two by two board. So yeah, that's what's going to be next. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. All right. Thanks and bye.